See that hang there? Uh, um, I thought it was a, a way of buying one that, you know, I think it probably would would be, but it'd be expensive. Like the gimbal. But how do you mount that gimbal? Oh, well, that's what I was thinking. It might be on the dashboard, flop it in. Well, it's going to move, you know. There's quite a lot of different things that people use, but, you know. I think that could be a massive fair decision. driving this Peugeot uh, Fiat, Fiat, Fiat. Fiat. But Peugeot Fiat, so is it a, Fiat, I mean it's a, it's a, tra a trans, um, trans van, trans van, it started off being a, what did it start Fiat. off, a Fiat, and then it woke up and goes, I identify it as a Peugeot, <laughs> and it's a, so now we can go to it, like Persia toilets and Fiat toilets. Yes. Which would be Italian or French. <laughs> but I bet you they don't make Persios in France anymore anyway. <clears throat> this thing's got all the mod cons. It's got um, air conditioning. It's got. Well, actually, Fiat. So I've always found Fiat's like Ivico. I had an Ivico truck, and I always thought it was like a very reliable diesel engine. So I take it as an Ivico engine, a Fiat engine. And the Persia, what did they do? Just rebatched it. Yeah. So Peugeot supplied the style. And it's H and R Grey. Welcome to Earth. We're doing 75 miles per hour at the moment. If you go any faster, I think the back of this thing will fall off. The good thing about this is, if it breaks down, you know, you don't need, I mean, you can stay in it. There's a bit of buffeting coming from it. There's a little bit of torque steer and a little bit of, um, um, the corner in, it's not quite up to BMW standards and the cup holders are... Is it, have you got any cup holders? Um, it's it's got box. cup holders that you can't reach. Well, that looks like a, is that a John Deere or what is it? Is that a Fiat? Wow. So we're actually being the speed limit at the moment due to my good driving. The speed limit being 30 and the zone being 20. Just two entirely different things. Yeah, legal. Well, we're obeying both. Well, I'm breaking the illegal one by about two miles per hour. If you want to stay in a hotel here, there's one up there, doors open, just go and help yourself. Which is quite tragic actually, because that's what people are doing. In fact the windows are open as well as the door. 
The only thing is it's for the teenagers. I mean, let's face it, if I was a teenager, I'd go in there as well. It's like asking for it, isn't it? It's like, they're going to land up setting fire to it or something. Because they'll be doing stupid things, won't they, with their... Or is it vapes they use now? I don't think they use... I don't think they have lighters in that now. Probably. But uh, maybe they do, I don't know. They probably do, actually. Because the mirror's not set right, I can't see how long the queue is behind me. There's Bochy's Interchange. If you've got a push bike, do not go up onto that motorway. I mean, I don't, I shouldn't really have to tell you this. You'd think it would come like normal and natural. Where are we anyway? Oh, right. Okay, I was getting confused there. And I'm in the wrong lane again, so we'll pop over here. Now we have to cut back into the inside lane. Always checking to see there isn't MD in the inside. Like Reg's on Mole Husband. So now we are in Bow Trees Interchange. We are joining the carriageway, uh, which is the A. Mm, oh, what is it? A905. Oh, I thought they knew. Oh, look at that oh, truck. No, Marshalls. Ah, uh, right. The A. Oh, I. I kind of thought it was called that over at the other side of Kincan Bridge as well. The gear change is. Well, it's a bit. Um, so, this Ivico, Peugeot Ivico, is. Pretty cool actually, it's quite nice to drive. I quite like the, the engine, the um, Fiat engine, which is designed by the latest um, emissions technology of 1995, which is a good thing. Cycles, 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 and cycle lane. Uh, it's not one of the fetish wheels. No, he'll get into trouble. Yeah. They'll send him hate mail as well, you know. What's going on here? Off Kilo Road closed. You can use it once a decade. What road's closed? Holy moly! You are joking. What the fuck? There's traffic going down there, so what's going on? What does that sign say? Road closed here from. Well, that's not 70th of the June yet. This is the. I think this is the 11th. No, 12th. Shit. Rona's birthday's on Friday. Find out her address. Shortness of the 17th to resurface it. It's bike lane there. Potholes, it's hard to avoid that one. Skin Flats coming up. It was a quite horrible name for something, wasn't it? Skin Flats. Well, Skin Flats. But it's flat, isn't it? Well, the whole area is a flat. Tannery or something? Skin? There's a bit of wibble wobble in the steering, is that the tyres? Well, I do tend to sit still for a while. I would be saying, oh, there's something wrong with the, 
you know, something. But you were told that the tyres needed replacing, so that's the uh, mission we are on at the moment. Although well, they're still perfectly legal, I must point out. Before any of you start cleaning, putting lives at risk. Into the fifth. It's quite a responsive uh, engine. I mean, well, it's, it's, we're break, we'll, we'll almost be breaking the speed zone, the way things are going. We don't want to be driving fast in a thing like this while it's stuff in the back. That's why the NC500 is such a nightmare, because you've got people like me up there going round there at 40 mile an hour. Cyclist. There is a Jaguar XG6. Um, well, that's quite an interesting number on that one. I wonder if that's a V8. Nice choice of car. Um, so we'll be, we'll be, well, we're going straight on, aren't we? Yes, this one. This label. I see. That wasn't what I did the Grand Prix. Fuck spotting. Seen that one in the day already. Right, let's go for it. Wow. We'll race this orange Ford. It looks like an ST3 or something, I think it's called. Focus. <laughs> and look, the Focus is going to go for it. I reckon, yeah, I reckon they've got a good chance of getting squashed. Yeah. Look at that, that's <laughs> impressive. Wow, we're doing the full over. Oh, might as well just overtake the whole lot now. Yeah. yeah. I think he was forced into that, didn't he? Well, he could have backed off. It was clear that it was all looking a bit limited from what I could see. Now he's going to have to sit there and look at him, do the lights. Now, we're going straight on, aren't we? Yeah. Do you want to follow that lorry? Yeah, I'll follow the lorry. I always, it's just that I always get this round bit wrong. Um, I, I'm not... What the hell, is a bit of a squeeze going on up there. A couple of decades of different trails, Well, I still don't understand it. I don't know who designed it. I want to get a hold of them, you know, if it's their birthday or something, I'll punch the fuck out of them. Would be an idea. Would you like to go in the inside lane? Right. So that truck is turning right. We'll just keep going. Red light's not for us. <clears throat> Sometimes people don't know when I'm joking. I mean, it's like, we, I always seem to land up in the wrong lane when I'm going round there. Like, oh, I'm in the... Supposed to be in the middle one yeah. to go to Falkirk Stadium. Yes. It always seems to be wrong. When I'm talking about like, you know, three o'clock in the morning, there's plenty of truck spotting to be done here. Yes. With it being Grangemouth. Yeah. I know they're stealing that one. A roundabout that I've never done. Never That's been on true. it. There's not much to see on it, to be fair. Uh, pretty disappointing. Yeah, really disappointing roundabout, that one. This is probably the worst, the most disappointing roundabout I've ever seen. Come on, Grangemouth, get your roundabout sorted out. I mean, sort of clack man in. Cumbernauld's got nice roundabouts. This is like the dodgiest roundabout in the world we're coming up to. Boy, you just normally just shut your eyes. Just go where you want to go shut your eyes. They'll try not to hit you. <clears throat> so, I've got to pop in here and see if I can do some tyres. Um, so, well, it's quite quiet. 
don't see us having any problems. Indicate to the right. Um, mirror signal manoeuvre. Not going to pass any attention at all. Yeah, watch this. They'll crash right anyway. I'll just give them a chance to do it properly. Now, there's somebody parked right in the freaking way. Well, that's extra. Can you believe that? Like, that. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually unbelievable. Who would do such a thing? Is there no den there, like, no? Um. Oh. We've made it. Thanks for watching. Oh.